I will show you how to explain very complex ideas without forgetting what you want to say and structuring your thoughts. Forget about the information for now. Don't worry if you are going to forget a small little detail. This is not important. What's really important for you to bring into existence your and in your speech, your idea, which could be very complex, is to understand the mechanism, how it works. It doesn't matter if you forget something small, but if you know how it works, that's fine, you will be good. You will be able to say it and explain it well. Behind me, I have a window opened on ChatGPT. I asked it about the creation of the universe, about the Big Bang. I will use this as an example to explain it to you and show you how you shouldn't focus only on the information but if you know how it works because this is something I know how how it works how it happened I will explain it to you now give me a sec 13.8 billion years ago the universe was created from the Big Bang it happened and then the first epoch which we had was the Planck epoch. In this Planck epoch, the physics and laws of nature were unclear. We don't know exactly what happened, what took place in this first moment of after the creation of the universe. We cannot test it, we cannot see it, we cannot measure it. We can have an estimate of the temperature, the temperature, but not really much. And then after it expanded a little bit, after it expanded the first microsecond, then we had a quark gluon plasma. And this quark gluon plasma was too hot, too intense, and even the fundamental forces, the four fundamental forces, didn't operate the way they had to operate. And gravity was the first force that came into place. Then the other three fundamental forces also followed. There were no atoms yet because it was still too hot. And then in the next moment of the Big Bang, then quarks formed. Quarks combined and protons and neutrons, they, form, they also formed because quarks combined. Quarks and the composites of protons and neutrons. In the next moment, after 380,000 years, we had the first atoms because it was cool enough 